Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your very own shrink ray. Um, it doesn't have any of the cool particle effects, but you can shrink anything you want in your world, including the floor. All right, so how do we do this? I'm using the first person template, so I'm going to open up our first person character. And I'm going to delete all of this stuff because we're going to build this together. And I will delete these. And we'll just drag off of our input action fire event. And we're going to search for line trace for object. And what we're going to do here for our start location, we're going to use this sphere. And this is at the uh, front of the barrel of the gun here. So you see the sphere? So we're going to start our line trace from that position. So we'll drag out and say get world location. And we will plug this right into the start. Now for the end, what we're going to want to do is get the forward vector of this sphere. And we're going to want to add vector to a vector. We're going to add a few things to this here. We're going to need another pin. And the output of this we're going to multiply by a float. And we will plug that right into the end. And we'll make this like 5,000. And what we're going to add to these things here is I'm going to come down to the bottom here. And as you see, it says gun offset and rotate vector. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come up here and paste it. Control V. And we're just going to add this. That way our line trace um, points where the little crosshairs are going. So I add this here. And if you click on the gun offset, you'll notice that the Z is at negative 10. So we're going to want to correct that by putting in 10 here to the Z. So now that we have our line trace here, we're going to right click on the object types and promote to a variable. And we'll just call this actors. And this is going to tell it, um, tell the line trace which type of objects we want to be looking for. So I see it already has this stuff in here. Let me delete that. So we're going to want to hit the plus sign three times. So we'll check for world static, we'll check for world dynamic, and we'll check for physics bodies. And you guys can add as many as you want here. Basically any actor that you want to be able to shrink, you're going to need to put into this array. Now if you hold B and click, we can create a branch. And we're going to hook that up here to the return value. And then we're going to want to split our output pin. So split the structure pin. And we'll look for our out hit actor. We'll right click here and promote to a variable. And we'll call this hit actor. And we're going to want to store a, a copy of this, or a reference to this actor. And the other thing we're going to want to do is off of this actor, so we can drag out from here and say get. And we'll say get the 3D scale. And we're going to right click here and promote this to a variable. And we'll call this the start size. And we're going to want to set both of these things before we do anything else. Because the next thing we're going to add is a timeline. So drag off of here and look for timeline. And we'll just call this shrink. And we'll make sure if we hold control and click, we can make this play from start. And we'll double click here to open up our timeline. We're going to want to make the length 2, or however the however long you guys want it to take to shrink your objects down. And we're going to add a float track. So we'll click on this little F key here. You can call this whatever you want, actor size. And right click here. And we'll just add a key float. And we'll make sure this is at 0, 0. And then you'll right click again. And we'll add another one. And we're going to want to put this at time 2 because that's the length that we have for this timeline, and the value will be 1. And then we can come back into our event graph here. And we're going to want to take our actor scale 3D, so this start size here, we will get and drag off and say 
search for a lerp and we're going to lerp the vector and we're going to plug our actor size into the alpha and for the vector that we're lerping to so we're going to take our start size and divide by a float and we'll plug that into the B. Now if we right click here we can promote this to a variable and this can be the shrink size. So we can compile and we'll just say we'll start it out as five times smaller. So if you put five there it's going to shrink five times the start size. And finally we'll take our hit actor and we will say set scale 3D and we'll plug in this vector here and we'll hook this up to the update we'll hit compile and save and now we can play and anything we point our gun at you see will start shrinking down alright I hope you guys thought that was helpful and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright, see you guys later.